morning, America. I'm Dick Asman, and today's topic hits close to home for every American. School shootings and recent rise in gun violence has led to media instilling fear into most of the population, causing a rise in the creation of meaningless laws. Today, we have our expert, Hillary Gr uh, Glass, to talk about it. Good morning, Dick. Thanks for having me today. Of course. Now, I hear you've made an important discovery. Could you please tell us about it? About it? Thank you, Dick. Well, as you said, the majority of the public is blaming guns, and to a certain extent, I totally agree with them. I mean, I really do, um, especially when it comes to assault rifles. They just look really scary to me, and I think that in itself is grounds to outlaw them. Um, but they're also incredibly dangerous. According to FBI statistics in 2003, 323 people died as a res or were murdered by rifles, and that's not just assault rifles, but all rifles. 123? That, that is a lot of people? Yes. Yes, it is, unfortunately. Um, I believe it's something like point zero 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 one percent of the population. And I mean, how is our population going to survive with point zero 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 one percent of the population being killed off every single year? Um, another statistic might, that might shock you a little bit more is that um, 496 people were murdered last year by hammers and blunt objects. So that's even more than were murdered by rifles. Wow, it sounds like this is a really significant problem. What do you think we can do about it? Well, some say that we need to teach people responsibility and teach them that um, their actions, or teach them responsibility for their actions and teach people to do the right thing. But we both know, Dick, that that's just not going to happen. True. How can you expect people to be responsible and take, act, take themselves seriously? And on top of that, I mean, who really needs a hammer or a blunt object anyway? That's a good point. I mean, we need to carry on the American tr tradition of blaming the common denominator here. I mean, in every one of these cases, there was a hammer or a blunt object present. And in almost every case, the perpetrator was different. So that proves that hammers and blunt objects really are to blame. I completely agree. Thank you, Dick. And now for the scary part. Did you know that you can walk into any store, say Walmart, and purchase a hammer or a blunt object without any questions asked? They don't even require an ID check as of now. Wow, that is seriously scary. Not just for Americans, but for me as well. I know, Dick. Believe me, I know. Um, as far as the solution goes, we all know that it isn't the people's responsibility to do anything about this. So the only logical thing to do is to propose legislation. Well, that makes sense. And as a reputable news source, we've decided to bring on two proponents of the opposition. We have American McGee and Mary Ellen Ruth here to talk with us. Thank you. Now, can you tell us about your take on the situation? Yeah, well, may I, Mr. McGee? Absolutely, ma'am. Okay, I think <laughs> the bottom line is that every American has the right to purchase and own any type of blunt object that they choose, whether that be a hammer or whatever. I also feel like as Americans, and not just Americans, but people in general, it's our right to protect ourselves. Therefore, we should be able to carry those objects into any environment that, that we want to. Now, Miss Hillary Glass's only argument over here is that we don't need these objects. Do you really need your BMWs and your fancy cars and your iPad? Of course I need my fancy cars and my iPad. I mean, those are necessities. And if you look at the, the facts, hammers and blunt objects just are not, are not necessities anymore. Oh, we need our hammers, ma'am. We need our blunt objects to build things, to fix things, to carry out the great industrial mission of America. Now, my great-grandfather handed me down a hammer, a hammer that he used to build the house that he lived in that my parents were raised in, that my parents lived in, and a house that I hopefully someday will live in myself. Okay, yes, but that was in the 1700s, and times have changed now. Nobody actually needs hammers. They're murderous weapons. I mean, we have air comp compressed nailers to build houses. You're taking away the concept of what it is to be an American. Exactly. The concept of being an American is owning whatever type of objects we want, whether they be a hammer or a blunt object. Does that mean you're going to take away my shovel? How about my tire iron? How am I to change my tire? Take away our hammers and our tire irons? Really? How am I going to change my tire? Well, you would call AAA, of course, since they are licensed professionals who have been trained to use tire irons. Dick, this is not going to bring back the people that were murdered by blunt objects or hammers. This is only going to infringe upon the rights of law-abiding American citizens. Exactly. D do you think this legislation would really stop a criminal? Well, honestly. Of course it will. I mean, criminals will not commit crimes if they just don't have the hammers or blunt objects present. It looks like we're out of time. Will the American people allow the rights to be taken away? Will the shoestrings become the next thing to be outlawed because they make people trip and fall over and hurt themselves? Uh, and how about MC Hammer? Will his name have to change pending this new Hammer legislation? Well, we'll discuss all that and much more in tonight's show. Thank you, America, and please stop thinking for yourself.